We can now be affiliates for a lot of your favorite tech products. So to celebrate, I will be showing you my favorite two terabyte SSD that I like to use when I'm swapping out the default hard drive in my computer over to an SSD. And this one will be tagged on the bottom left of this video from Newegg, which has the exact same model. This SSD will be replacing the two terabyte hard drive disc that is on this computer. This hard drive does sound a little clunky these days and it is limiting the performance of the computer. This is a Corsair One with a 2080 Ti. And honestly, it hasn't given me any issues. I bought this back in 2020. This is probably one of the best pre-builds out there with a great form factor and performance. It's really hard to tell, but the installation was pretty easy. I put the new SSD back inside and then I went ahead and closed up the computer after this. It's honestly shocking at how well they can fit a hard drive disc in such a tiny form factor. I mean, this thing was working for three years now and it did a pretty good job, but like all good things, they must come to an end. I went ahead and booted up the computer and updated the Samsung Magician software, which was detecting the new SSD, which is perfect, but we do still need to do a couple things before we can go ahead and use this new SSD on the computer itself. I went ahead and ran the disk management settings, which are pretty straightforward. Um, this will vary based on what you're trying to do, but most of the time it's pretty straightforward. You shouldn't really have to change any of the settings here unless you're trying to do something very specific with your new SSD. I went ahead and set up a new volume on the new SSD, and then I just followed the setup wizard, which is pretty straightforward. And now we can finally go ahead and use the brand new SSD to its full capacity. This was the secondary drive on this computer, so it was a lot easier. All I had to do was just swap it out. I made sure there was no important files that might hinder the performance of the Windows operating system or anything else on this computer. It was mainly holding all the installation files for all the games, so I did have to go ahead and re-download those again. This process is only a couple minutes long, but it can really help your computer.